how to create Google form to collect data. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create a specific form on Google Forms to simply collect some data from your users or from the clients that you are going to seek some information from. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go to Google Forms or docs.google.com slash forms. And here we have the platform or the landing page of Google Forms. As you can see here, we have some templates that you can go ahead and utilize or use, or you can go ahead from a blank template. I am going to use one of these templates to make the uh, right form for collecting data. Now let's go ahead and select a form. For example, I can use this one, this blank quiz. I'm going to let this blank quiz right here. I have chosen this form because it has the purple background and the purple right here uh, line. And also here we can go ahead and customize everything we are going to let here to collect the information. For the blank quiz here, I'm going to set that uh, form as a um, uh, a questionnaire or something like that. I'm going to put here, for example, a subscription or sign up like this, sign up form. Here, sign up form. Then we are going to put it bold like that. And here we have it. Now for the description, I am going to put here, provide us with details to uh, let us, for example, to let us know about more about you like that. And here we have it. Also here, I'm going to put that text bold and here we go. We have here the, uh, untitled question you can go ahead and click on that section and then i am going to let here put a short answer i'm going to put for example here the first one name i'm going to put name here we have it and let the uh, short answer text i'm going to let it as required and then i am going to add another question which as also the short uh, answer, I'm going to let it right here. Uh, last name, name for example, and here we have it. Now I'm going to let it as required. Let's go and add another questions here. I'm going to put a uh, date of birth here, put it bold. Also this one, I forgot to let it bold here. It is required. And here we have the uh, date of birth. As you can see, you can go ahead and let it right here, date. You can go ahead and make it a date. And another section for email, make it a bold also. And I'm going to add some more information or questions like phone number like that. And it is obligatory or required. And let's say I'm going to add something else. Let's think of here for here. We have the phone number, the email, and also we can add another question, which is a short answer. Let's say that we are going to seek for age. We don't want to calculate the, from the date of birth, but we're going to let it right here. I'm going to remove the age. It is not necessary. I'm going to add another question like, let's say here, something like, uh, how or how did you, for example, how did you, uh, heard about us? I'm going to let it put it go or uh, bold. And here we have the uh, choices. You can put a here a multiple choice uh, question. I'm going to put, for example, here YouTube. And add another option here we have Facebook, for example. 
and the other uh, question is Google and finally we are going to add for example another question which is Instagram this question is depending on the uh, on the ad or the campaign that we have launched for example I have launched a campaign on YouTube Google Facebook Instagram and you are going to see here or collect the necessary data that you have uh, created or you have published so you can go ahead and filter the uh, persons from here put a point right here or like that now you can go ahead and add whatever you want for example if you want to add another section I'm going to add here let's go ahead and add another question are you for example are you interested in IT domain like that make it bold here we are going to add a suggestion which is a multiple question I'm going to put here the first one is yes and the second no is yes obviously and here we are going to set something uh, I'm going to click on the three dots here we are going to uh, go ahead and select a new section simply in this one I'm going to go ahead to a section based on answer if the answer here is yes I'm going to let it continue to the section 2 if it is no I'm going to let it submit form right away so the person when they uh, type yes they will be guided to this more uh, more question section for example here uh, which uh, IT domain is uh, more interesting for you I'm going to let it bold like that make it here don't forget to let this question uh, like that and then I'm going simply to put right here a choice here uh, I'm going to let it here this is a question so I'm going to let it here welcome to part two for example then I'm going to add a question like that the question is right here the choice is or the answer is a short answer and etc this is the uh, form for example you have the name last name date of birth email phone number how did you hear about us are you interested in IT domain if yes it will guide you to the second section which has uh, this one if not it will terminate uh, the form I'm going right here to preview the form and let's see right here you are going to type simply uh, the name last name it is right here the date of birth email everything as you can see here is required and then you are going to click on next if you say here yes it will guide you to the uh, second section or the second form if no you are going to get submitted directly and you will receive the answers within google uh, forms